U. Aquilii is a star in the constellation Aquilius, located about 13,000 light years away, and was first discovered in the 1990s. In 2022, it was discovered that U. Aquilii spectrum had completely changed since the spectrum observed at its discovery. So what happened here? And how and why did it happen? Upon its discovery in the 90s, U. Aquilii was tentatively classified as a post-AGB star, a star that had passed the red giant stage and was on the brink of death, about to shed its outer layers. Since the start of the century, archival photometry shows that U. Aquilii has been steadily brightening in the visible and near-infrared wavelengths, and its luminosity is now several times greater than it was when first observed. Its spectral type is closest to an F6 supergiant at this moment, compared to mid-G to early K type in 1994. U. Aquilii's current surface temperature is estimated at about 5,700 Kelvin, although this is very uncertain. Its total luminosity is likely about 10,000 times that of the Sun, assuming a distance of 4 kiloparsecs, or approximately 13,000 light years. Circumstellar dust around the star has also been discovered, which is very likely in a disk orbiting the star, which is highly inclined relative to Earth. So, what's causing this brightening event that we're seeing from U Aquilii? The most fascinating hypothesis is that the star is currently quickly transforming from an AGB red giant star to a proto-white dwarf, expelling its outer layers, and we're watching the death of a star in real time. However, the data we have on the star at the moment is insufficient to confirm this hypothesis, but it is a possibility. It is unlikely that U Aquilii is experiencing a late helium flash, where a layer of helium in the dying star suddenly ignites, causing the star to suddenly swell and cool and resemble a post AGB star. This is because U Aquilii is likely too massive to experience this. The most likely explanation for this sudden brightening is that U Aquilii has recently started accreting nearby material, probably from its circumbinary disk, which suggests that U Aquilii also has a smaller binary companion, which is much dimmer and so has not been detected yet. A detection of stellar jets coming from U Aquilii would confirm that this is what is happening. This is currently the most likely explanation for why U Aquilii has brightened so much recently. V576 Carine is a star which has undergone a similar brightening event compared to U Aquilii. Similarly to U Aquilii, it was identified as an F or G type supergiant. It is likely that the changes in both stars are very similar. A search for similar events in the southern hemisphere found none, indicating that the phase we observe is short lasting and future searches for U Aquilii-like events can focus on the steady rise over three decades as the defining characteristic of these events. More observations of the two stars are needed to more confidently explain the changes happening there and the current configurations of the star systems. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more space content.